Hi guys, I've got another tutorial for you. Um, as you guys seem to enjoy the Julia Donaldson characters, I thought I'd do another one. Uh, this time round, it's going to be the Highway Rat. Um, feel free to pause at any point and see how you get on. Keep those requests coming. Make sure you subscribe and leave comments and likes and uh, all those nice things. Um, enjoy guys. Okay, so I want you to start with a sort of half circle going up and around and then quite a straight line going across like that. And then on this side, slightly further away, similar, but maybe a tiny bit smaller and like that with a straight line. Then you do a couple of dots inside, like that, and then bring a line up and down to there. Now just down here you want to do a sort of circle that's bent like this and then a little line like that. I'm going to make the mouth underneath so we're going to curve round and up and round to there. Now a little hint of a line going further down and then a smaller one to make these teeth and a smaller one like that. Now we can curve this line all the way down and around and up to there. Then do a hint of mouth going down and up. And a couple of little sharp teeth either side. And you can fill in a little bit of darkness at the top just to kind of make a lot of his mouths open. And then follow the lip with a couple of little dots, three little dots either side. We have a couple of little lines to make those whiskers. Like that. Now follow the line down the side of that eye with a slight lump. And down with a slight lump like that. And curve that one over. Then we're going to do a line out and a slightly longer line this side going out. And then we're going to kind of line that goes up and down and up and round like that. And a slightly closer line like that, just following that line around, just curving it all the way around to there. Then you can put a little zigzaggy sort of line going along to make the pattern on his hat there. Then you want a hint of a circle on the inside for his hat and then do a little feather couple little wobbly lines and a point and put some texture in that one. You can follow a little line for texture just for give it a little bit of movement on there on the mask and make around the eyes a little bit. Now you've got that I want you to do a little circle under his chin here. Have another circle on the inside and then do some lines going out and out like that and then a slightly wavy one and then underneath that more lines going out and another wavy one and then put little dash lines to make his scarf there now do a cloak going up and around and slightly a different angle down and around like that now under this uh, scarf you want to do a little square to make the belt buckle and another square inside and put a little tiny square in there. Now you've got that you can curve a line round and down and round and down and then a little hint of a square there, 
line down and across and a line going over to there. Now put the line going out, the line going down and bring that back to there. A line there and a line like that. And a line curving down and around. And down and around. Then do a slightly wavy line. And then some circles. You want a circle like that, not a complete circle, like a half circle. Another one there, another one there, and another one there. And then you get a little crease mark like that and put some claws on his fingers there. And then you can put creases on the inside of that hand to make his finger marks. Now over this side, you want to do a slightly wiggly line there and then do one, two, and a slight third one, and then another circle like that. And you put some claw marks. Then do a circle underneath there, with a little circle in it like that, and that's going to be the bottom of the sword. Now curve a line down and around, and down and around. Do a nice long stick coming up like this so down to there and going back up then follow a line around the edge of that sword if you've got it there now you've got that you want to follow around here do a line down around and curve to there and then a curve around and up to there then do another line going down, around and up, and down, around and up, and down, around and up, a bit tighter this time, like that, and then a line going down, and a line going down, line going down, line going down, then down and across, and down and across. You can do a sole on those boots. Now you've got that. All you need to add in is a little curving line going round and back. Some lines across on it to make that tail. And if you want to, just put a few lines here to do that. And there's one last little touch just to finish it off. You want the back of this cloak, so now you've got the whole body, you can put a line going down and up and across and up like that. And there you have your highway wrap.